What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is the Sprint version, but this should work on every single carrier or variant of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. What I'm gonna do is, while it's powering up, I'm gonna hold volume down, the home and the power button, and it's gonna to get to the screen right here. I'm gonna press volume up, and I'm gonna show you my uh, information right here. As you can see, I have not triggered Knox yet. My binary is Samsung official. My system status is official. And this is 0x0, 0x0. So just to kind of uh, give you an idea and prove to you that it's 100% official. And right now we're going to take it and we're just going to hold the power button down for about mm, 5 to 10 seconds until the thing shuts off. You get a little line across the screen. You could either, or you could just pop the battery out. It's completely up to you. So we're going to turn this phone on and we're just going to let it start up and I'll be right back. All right, so our phone powered on. Um, it's going to say no SIM because the SIM card is actually in my uh, Nexus 5 right now. The 32 gigabyte unlocked Nexus 5 from the Google Play Store works um, with Sprint. So I took the SIM card out of here, put it in my Nexus 5 and now I have service on it and yeah. So what we're gonna do is, what I'm gonna recommend you do is go here to settings and then go down to general. And then at first you won't see this right here. You will need to go to about device right here, scroll all the way down, and then you'll see this. Just keep tapping on that and it'll say like, uh, you are now a developer. Go back and you'll have a new option called developer options. Then you'll wanna go in here and you'll wanna turn USB debugging on. If this is off, just simply check it and turn it back on and then enable USB debugging. It's pretty simple. Uh, nothing else in here you need to change. And then we're gonna take our plug here and we're gonna plug it into our Galaxy Note 3. You can use the USB 2.0. You don't have to use the official one that came with it. It's actually completely up to you. And then our computer says that Note 3, tap to choose what happens with this device. Um, so let me go ahead and change the camera. All right, so for some reason, my computer was typing when I had the phone on it. So in the description, I'm going to have a link to this thing right here. When I go to my bookmarks and then I go here, it's root Android phone, flash custom ROMs, etc. It is King O app. Uh, this is the first time I've heard about this. I was doing a lot of research on how to root the Note 3 without voiding your Knox thing. So if we go here to devices, um, you should see if you scroll down here. You should see if you scroll down here. Whoops. I'm <laughs> oh, my bad. Come on, scroll. Whatever. It's I'm thinking I'm highlighting the page. So if we go down here to Samsung. You will see Galaxy Note 3, and it'll say new. And then this download button is the same exact download button as there was earlier. It's been downloaded 2,207 times as of right now. So whenever it downloads, you'll just install it. And then you'll just keep cl clicking next like you would for anything. And then you're going to end up with this icon right here in your desktop. Kingo Android Root. That little guy right there. So you just want to right click on that and choose run as administrator. And then you'll see this screen right here. And it'll say connecting to your device. Please wait. And then all you got to do is press root. Really it's that simple. And your device will reboot once or twice. And then next thing you know, your Galaxy Note 3 is rooted. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I actually rooted it and then it said that my system status was custom. And whenever I plugged it back into here, it said, do you want to remove root or do you want to root again? And I was like, remove root. So it seemed like it was stuck for a while before it finally got off of um, removing root. But it did, it finally said success, your device is unrooted, and my phone said 100% official. I, I was rooted earlier today, but as you saw at the beginning of this video, it said that, see, and my phone just rebooted, and uh, it said that my phone was 100% official when I had just been rooted, but I unrooted using this program. The same exact program that we're using to root our Galaxy Note 3. Um, 
actually, I used, I test this program out on my Sprint HTC One. I had a locked bootloader and it rooted my HTC One with a locked bootloader and my device does not say tampered when I go into the bootloader. You know, before if you flash custom recovery, it would say tampered. It does not say tampered. It's absolutely beautiful. So our device is um, powered on and this thing saying waiting for device. Note three, checking root status. Go ahead and just press OK, get rid of that little message there. It's not Halloween anymore, so I need to go ahead and change that. We should get a little thing here. Yep, ADB shell just granted super user permission. It'll see right there, ADB shell has been granted super SU, copying root files to your device. It's rebooting one last time, and it says root succeeded. Please reboot your device to make sure it's stable. So we'll let this finish up here. It should say Android is upgrading because it's installing a file to the phone. Just swipe it away. Press OK. Or it may not say it's upgrading. So we're going to go to our apps here. Um, uh, it's OK. I don't have service on this. Like I said, I put service on my Nexus 5. Uh, look at that app. Super SU. And then you'll get this little notification saying that an application has forced been forced to stop for an authorized app. You can get rid of that. There's actually threads on XDA on how to remove that. So if we click on the finish button, it's going to connect to our device again. And I'm just going to show you the unroot process. Uh, I'm not going to do it because obviously I enjoy having root. See, look at that. Remove root. You press that. I would give it like five minutes and you should be unrooted. Like I said, it, it sat on removing root. Uh, on one screen for several minutes and I was kind of like uh, I don't think this is gonna work but I promise you it did so let me go ahead and restart this thing and show you how it where it says custom instead of official remember if you want to unroot don't use super su to unroot uh, I tried that myself and it still said that my system status was uh, custom so it knew that I had done something to it. So volume up. And as you can see right there, it says we are custom. I won't say it again, I promise. If you use this tool to unroot your device, that will go back to official. I posted on Instagram a screenshot of the fact that it didn't trip the Knox scanner and it said custom. I unrooted, it said official. I root it again, now it says custom. Hopefully you get the idea. If you want it to be 100% official, use this program. I wanted to go ahead and show you real quick that we do have root access by going to the Play Store and searching for an app called Root Checker. There's a free version and a pro version. Uh, I paid for the pro version, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. And then install, accept, and then we're gonna open it up here. We're going to press agree, OK, verify root, and boom shakalaka, we have root access. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If it helps you root your Galaxy Note 3, please give it a thumbs up. If you just feel like being awesome, please give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. I'll have links to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Twitch TV, Ustream. Uh, I'm going to be unboxing the new consoles when those come out this month. Got some Nexus 5 videos, some NVIDIA Shield videos, some more Note 2, some more Note 3 videos. Um, got tons of videos coming very soon. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do so right now by clicking that red subscribe button below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.